All right, so today we're going to be doing another step tutorial, and this time we're going to be focusing on a scroll trigger effect. So when you scroll the page, this effect will take place, and it's a stacking cards effect. These effects are very popular where you scroll and the, the cards or the, the, um, the containers kind of pin to the top, and one by one the containers or the cards show up, and once the effect is done, you scroll and the rest of the page continues. So let's get into it. All right, so we are going to be starting with the top container, which is going to be, let's say, your hero section. OK, so I'm just going to go add one container here, full width, 100 VH. And that's it. It doesn't have to be more than that, right? Unless you are actually building a website. And then let's move on. I'm going to duplicate this container and I will give this container a class of sticky cards. So in the parent container, we are going to be adding our cards. We're going to add six containers. Yeah. And let's work on one on the design of one of them. So this one will be full width and I'm going to give it a custom width of 40 percent. All right. And we're going to leave the height as none and set our um, class on it. This is very important, as I uh, mention every time. If you are going to be changing the classes, make sure that you change the classes in the code as well. Otherwise, it's not going to work, obviously. <laughs> so in this container, we are going to be adding two other widgets. One is going to be an image and one is going to be text. Yeah, so. I am going to go with, 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 let me see, uh, some nice interior design, I guess. Okay. Let's, let's just go with this one. All right. And I'm going to set it to full width. Let's go to set it to full width, um, max width, hundred percent and hide 45, uh, not percent, sorry, VH. Yeah. 45 VH here and cover and center. Or you can just arrange it however you want, whatever you want to show in the image. All right. OK, I'm going to hit publish and I am uh, going to go again to the container, set the direction to be column vertical because we want uh, the elements to stack inside. So I'm going to be adding a heading in here and say this is a living room. OK. Publish and let me just go and change the color to this and whatever, let's say something that we have here in light and one that should do it okay i think now it's time to let's duplicate this yeah one two three four five six obviously the image the 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 yeah the image will be the same but uh the containers will behave differently so first let's add our css yeah as we are in the parent container First of all, I forgot to mention this, but you go to layout, additional options, set the overflow to hidden and HTML tag to be a section. OK, this is important because the CSS contains the uh, section uh, property. So I'm going to drop it in here and voila, this is where we have it. And nothing is happening right now. Let's go back to our code. And as you can see, it's only one image. OK, sorry, uh, the, the camera died, but I'm back. All right. So I'm going to be adding uh, an HTML widget here where we are going to be adding our, of course, GSAP, GSAP code. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to drop it in here and let's go and have a look. Let's see if anything happened on the uh, preview. All right. Boom, boom 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 and boom boom <laughs> yeah and i'm still scrolling you cannot see that i'm scrolling because there's nothing else under the the container so i'm gonna duplicate the top container 
and I'm going to move it right here. Yeah, let's update and let's have another look. All right, scrolling, 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 ba -ba -ba -bum -bum -bum. and that's it done. So as I said, one, two, three, four, five, six containers. Yeah, let's add another container. Okay, so we just added another container. Let's see how this behaves. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's add another one just in case you would like to add more containers. Yeah. And let's see let's see let's see very cool and maybe you're wondering why these are coming straight up we can go in the code in the um, g sub code and we can look here const rotations here so you can see that we have six values that apply to six containers if you add for example let's add this no let's add this one at the end and say 12 instead of minus 12 let's add another one of six and let's add another one of 20. so one two three four five six seven eight nine i don't remember how many we have i think we managed to duplicate nine in the end all right so they should be rotated the other way around towards the right yeah let's see yep as you can see they are but because we have an overflow hidden here this is kind of getting cut and if you go to the parent container and you go to overflow and you turn this to uh, from hidden to default you will see that you will not get that card last card uh, cut cut out basically so yeah pretty cool right and this is such a nice effect and of course it's done with um lenis so obviously this is very smooth right all right i hope you enjoy this and uh, also to some extent this is mobile optimized but you will have to more to work on it a little bit more depending on what on how you include it in your project but yeah it has a basic optimization for mobile anyway i hope you enjoyed this and let me know in the comments below if you are going to be using it <laughs> in any of your upcoming projects if you'd like to see what else you can build with elementor watch this playlist here or here and if you have gotten any value out of this video please consider subscribing liking and sharing this video and i'll see you next time bye